Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have the pleasure of bringing on the first player in the world to reach 3,000 trophies this season. It's going to be Mr. Sazy with this deck. Somehow, the Archer Queen always manages to stay on top of the meta, and today, I'm going to be showing you guys two replays showcasing this deck on top ladder and then I'll be playing this deck myself to see how it works, what's the strategy behind it, what's the thought process. Do not forget to subscribe to never miss out on my brand new Clash mini videos and let's jump into the battle. Alright, the first match is starting. We are going to be playing against the Wave Master. Many of you guys have told me Zay, how do you beat Wave Master Bandit? Well, today we're gonna see exactly how to do it with this beautiful Archer Queen deck. We're gonna play, you see, notice that positioning. Archer Queen, Magic Archer to the side. This positioning will be very, very important later on during the game because the Magic Archer will not be stunned by the Wave Master ult. Right now, round one, it's not gonna happen, but uh, in, in a few rounds, we're gonna see why this positioning is so key. We're not gonna take round one, that's usually how it goes against Wave Master. You're, you're, you're usually gonna lose round one, maybe round two. At least that's, uh, that's my experience from playing this Archer Queen deck. So right now we're gonna see what he's going to play. He's instantly going to go for the two-star Magic Archer. That's going to be probably your the best mini for you to prioritize early on during the game and right now our opponent is going for a miner which is going to get one tap by the um by the magic archer who's going to clean up the bandit too and right now magic archer providing a lot of value providing a lot of dps despite its ner hp nerf magic archer still does the same amount of the damage the same absurd amount of damage that makes him so strong in the meta right now and so right now, round three, are we going to look at maxing out the Magic Archer? Of course we are, and we're gonna look, we're gonna hook that miner. A very, very beautiful, beautiful fisherman to deny that miner any value. And right now, let's see, there's, there may be a lot of too much pressure for our Magic Archer to deal with. And you see right there, the, the Wave Master with his ultimate ability did not stun the Magic Archer. That's what we're looking into for the next two rounds here round number four is about to start are we going to drop a giant skeleton no we're going for the prince canceling out the bowler's ultimate ability our opponent made that mistake if you place the bowler in the front uh in the front lane basically the prince could cancel it out so right now we are denying the miner we are denying the bowler and it's going to be very difficult for our opponent to break through, really. The Giant Skeleton beautifully positioned, who's going to catch and intercept the Bandit. Look at that beautiful double shutdown. And the Bandit is going to go all the way up to the top, and that's really what we want. We don't want the Bandit to go anywhere near our key troops, because he's going to stun everybody. And look at that, the Giant Skeleton stuns the Wave Master mid-ultimate ability, and that should be coming in clutch, as the Magic Archer is currently 1 HP, and he is going to get round number 4. What a very, very close game. So right now, are we looking to upgrade the Giant Skeleton? Two-star on the Giant Skeleton, because we know that often, the Giant Skeleton is going to pop on either the Bandit or the Wave Master, and that is exactly what we want. That is... You see, right now in this deck, we're seeing every mini placed on the board, and every mini has a role, and that's when you know you have a good deck. Right now, he's going to play for the go for the prince. The band is going to be dashing onto our prince, but right now the magic archer is stunned very far. Right now, the band is not stunning the magic archer. The wave master not stunning the magic archer, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you beat wave master bandit by placing the magic archer in the corner and by placing a Archer Queen, an Ice Wither, and then you're good to go. All right, now we have another very, very popular matchup here. Sazy has blessed us with some amazing matchups. Natureborn is going to be the second hero for today. He's going to be playing the Deer form. We should expect a P.E.K.K.A. 
Um, you know, these nature one decks usually feature the P.E.K.K.A, the Archer. We could see an E.Wiz, a Witch, where, you know, you, we could see a hybrid variation of this nature one. As you guys can see, the Deer. 2v1s, Magic Archer, Archer Queen, absolutely deadly. Absolutely deadly, the Deer. So how do we do it? Well, as you guys remember from last game, Magic Archer 2-star. He's not gonna go for the first upgrade. He's not gonna go for the, the three arrows upgrade, which is interesting, which is interesting. The reason being, if I'm in his mind, but I don't wanna speak for him, is that there's not gonna be too many troops to splash around. You know, there's gonna be maybe one or two troops on the board, maybe a nature one and a P.E.K.K.A. So the three arrows might not do too well. And right now, there we go. We're doing a lot of damage. We're doing a lot of damage. The Magic Archer here is going to pop off and get that damage boost. And that's going to be run number two. So an interesting choice of upgrade. Uh, honestly, I don't think it would have mattered too much if he went for, you know, the first star upgrade or, the, or any other. So he's going to go for the three star Magic Archer, of course. He's going to go also on a, on a, on a beautiful... Giant Skeleton on the Curse Tau, which is going to remove 40% HP from the Giant Skeleton, which is exactly what we want. We want the Giant Skeleton to pop as early on as possible. P.E.K.K.A. is not going to clean up our Magic Archer, our, our Archer Queen, and that's going to be round number three. Magic Archer is still an amazing, viable support troop to place behind the Archer Queen, and right now we're seeing a lot of value being placed. We could upgrade the Giant Skeleton, but we're not going to. We're not going to. Instead, we're going for the Fisherman on the Archer because we know that if the Archer starts deleting our Magic Archer and our Ice Wizard, we are done. We need to protect our Magic Archer at all costs. And that's why we also go for the Ice Wizard block to maybe predict a Fisherman. And that is exactly how what we do. Beautiful way to counter our opponent. This is why Seizi is very amongst the top players in the world right now, because this man knows everybody's decks. This man knows how to predict his opponents, and this man just knows how to play Clash Mini. Beautiful, and is that going to be enough here? 3,000 trophies live. Beautiful, ultra legend, fire avatar. One of the most exclusive avatar in the game right now and he is going to be the first one in the world to wear it put that badge on beautiful all right now it's going to be my turn to play it i am currently on ladder and we have the Ma wave master and right now we have the perfect towel we have the healing towel which is exactly where we're going to place that magic archer so right now the game plan is created pretty simple mirror what we've seen for those of you watching at home, these pro players, and also myself, just make sure you guys ins take inspiration from these top players. See how they play, see their strategy, and copy them. And that, right now, run number one. What's gonna happen here? How are we gonna have enough DPS to break through the Wave Master? Right now, the Magic Archer, with that healing, really tanking, I don't think it's gonna die here. I don't think it's gonna die here. With the healing, beautiful round number one victory. That special tile, that magic tile, come in and clutch to pick us, round number one. Now, what a beautiful, beautiful first starting hand. We're gonna go for, of course, the double magic archer upgrade. That is incredible, incredible start. We're not even gonna have to reroll anything. Right now, we're playing our, our opponent, playing the e -Wiz. Playing the e -Wiz, uh, magic archer piercing through the whole lobby, jeez. Oh no, the Magic Archer stuns when the Archer Queen pops her invisibility. That's okay, I mean, uh, honestly, these are gonna be back and forth games for Kate. Okay. We took get round number one, we're gonna give him round number two. It's just the way of the road, you know, it's the way of the road. Round number two. Now, what are we gonna do? Instantly upgrade the Magic Archer. With that, uh, we're gonna go for the damage. Honestly, we, if we can have another Magic Archer, we got six rerolls, so we definitely, we should definitely have a, um, we should definitely have a Magic Archer here soon, please, please, thank you, sir. I'm gonna go Giant Skeleton on the Healing Tower, 
Nah, actually, I want him to die. I want him to die as fast as possible. So I'm not, it's not a tank. Giant Skeleton is here to buy, get, get, nu nuke some people. Nuke some troops, you know? That's all, that's his job. That's in his, that's his, that's in his job description. Giant Skeleton gonna pop on the bandit. And right now, three-star magic archer about to unleash the demons here, please. Oh, the e wins stuns again. Please, magic archer, wake up. I feel like he's in a coma right now. Oh, God, okay. Round number three, not, okay, not according to plan. He got too many stuns on the board, Jesus. <sighs> okay, that is not going according to plan. I need, I'm gonna go giant skeleton, and I'm gonna go for a, an ice wizard block, and I'm gonna go for another giant skeleton. Stun, yep, and an ice wizard block. So we're, we're gonna make sure the magic archer stays in the corner. Uh, we don't want him to fish him in to do any kind of nonsense, any kind of, oh my God, our magic archer. Why is that, why did our archer queen move forward? <gasps> what just happened? Please? Oh my God, no way. Oh my god, my, my Archer Queen went forward. Come on, give me another Wave Master. Please, I want my revenge here. Please, please, let's go. Another Wave Master here. Let's not lose. Let's not lose, baby. We don't give up. We don't give up. Oh my god. Okay. Same plays. Same plays. We're gonna do the exact same plays. God, god. We just messed up, missed, messed up. You're right, right? And level 14, we, that is our first time playing against an underleveled Wave Master playing Dark Goblin. Interesting. Not playing, I don't know, I don't know this deck. I don't know. Should get the round one victory here. Beautiful, beautiful. And we gotta focus, we gotta focus and make sure we upgrade the correct minis. Fisherman, you're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Ice Wizard. Let's go for some slow. We gotta make sure our Archer Queen doesn't goof around. Uh, that would be very unfortunate if she starts splitting up with my Magic Archer once again. I would lose my mind. She is not. I don't think we're gonna win round number one here, or number two here. Got the bandit stun. He's just uh, okay, 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 okay. We'll take it. We'll take the round two victory here. We'll take the round two victory here. Now is it because he's under level? Maybe. But a win is a win. Okay, a win is a win. Uh, magic archer upgrade. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. This guy always, says he always prioritized the uh, the magic archer, so that's what we do. That is what we do, and my goal is to beat, like, have a hundred percent win rate against the win, the wave master from now on. That's that's my ultimate goal here. Bandit, what are you gonna do? He's got the miner, but I'm gonna be able to pull that boy right. There. You know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. Please, 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 please. There we go. Magic Archer, come on, do your thing, baby. Oh, there's too many things. He's got, he's got way too much of a, of an elixir advantage here. But we are going to be able to pull the miner exactly like Sage showed us. Okay, exactly like Sage showed us. <sighs> Magic Archer, three star. Yes, please. Uh, no ice block. I'm going to go for the fisherman to hook the, uh, the miner. Cause I don't want, ah, uh, flip. Okay, maybe that. Yeah, sure. I mean, as long as my magic archer isn't slowed down, then we're good to go. There we go. We're gonna pull the miner. Beautiful, it's gonna stay in the front. And the magic archer is gonna line up to the whole board. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Vroom, three kills in a row, baby. That, that's what we want. That's what we want right there. That's what we want. Come on, Magic Archer. Come on. You can do you. You can do it, baby. You can do it. I know you can. I know you got it in you, baby. Let's go, baby. Round number four. And we took down the Wave Master. Okay, it was level 13. Yes. But still. 
Give me another wave master. Please, please give me another wave master. Please give me another wave master. Please, please, please. I just want to eat them for breakfast. Please. Show me what you got. Okay, and a grand warden. That's that's interesting. That's interesting, my brother. Did you not get the memo that he was nerfed to the ground? Okay, let's see. How, let's see what we do. What are we going to do around number one? We're going to focus on the magic archer. Now we don't. We don't have it. You know what? Take round number one. I don't want to. I don't want to have it. You know, I. Am, I don't want to have it. Good, my good sir. I think we're going to take round number one here. Beautiful. But I have seen Grand Warden come back recently because people are playing these Grand Warden decks with like magic archers with, you know, no energy. It's the Grand Warden no energy deck so that the Wave Master Bandit just gets absolutely deleted. Absolutely deleted. Round number one is gonna go in our favor. We didn't play much. We're not going to. We make sure to keep our, our, mini, our mini shop empty so that we get an additional reroll. So basically, each round you get two rerolls, but by leaving your shop section empty, you're gonna get a third reroll, basically, which is going to maximize your chance of maximize of maxing out your magic archer in the third round. That's what I usually do. Round two, you're gonna, you can take it, my brother. I don't want it. I honestly don't even want it. I honestly don't even want it. You can take it, and then we're gonna go max out that beautiful magic archer. Position it. We could position it behind it. I don't know if that's the play. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Wait, 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 wait. Um, right there, magic archer that would pierce through. Uh, we could place it like, uh, do I want to peer? I don't know. No, I want to protect the magic archer as much as I can. That's, that's really what we cook. Okay, I gotta, I gotta upgrade my magic archer, dude. There we go. You see, we can instantly, when you have a bunch of rerolls, you can just, you can just use them as you like. And right now we're going to pierce through the E-Wiz. So that's perfect. That's perfect. Giant Skeleton is going to pop onto the P.E.K.K.A. and onto the E-Wiz. Our magic, our Archer Queen is gone. But guess who's not gone? Magic Archer, baby. Round number three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now... What's this guy's deal, you know? Uh, the Pekka Ewiz Grand Warden, like, what's going on here? What's, what are you trying to do here? That's my question for you. I, I kind of want to boop away. I kind of want to boop. Do I want to try anything? Do I, I kind of want to boop away your Pekka, my brother. So that my magic card should just start shredding your support troops. That's my idea, you know? I kind of like, I love taking risks round, round four. That's probably my favorite thing to do because people don't expect, people are like, oh, he's gonna be waiting. He's gonna wait for round number five for an even matchup. Okay, he does have an unstoppable. That is not great. That's not great. Oh, that's not great. Please, Pekka, stop bullying me. Okay, now Magic Archer, you need to get rid of the, the E-Wiz. I don't think there's gonna be enough here. Ah. Oh. No way, he went for the clash on the P.E.K.K.A. Totally forgot about that, no! Okay, what do we do here? I think that, what's our, the biggest problem? Probably... Oh, I just wasted this elixir on my P.E.K.K.A. I'm so disappointed. I'm gonna go for the nuke. I need to DPS down the, the P.E.K.K.A. as much as I can. Ice Wizard. Slow, I don't think his troops are not packed we could go for the pony uh, the fisherman here is not gonna it's just gonna be a waste we're gonna go for the pony and we're gonna go for the ice whiz please tell me this works please 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 i just want to distract okay he's going for the the swordsman what kind of nonsense is that my brother what kind of nonsense is that please fisherman swordsman <gasps> what how did he oh that was super satisfying, Magic Archer. You are, are beautiful. You are so beautiful, Crystal Coin Magic Archer. That was incredible. That was incredible. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching till the end. You guys mean a lot. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Later, fellas.